The Russian River Brewery offers a variety of products to its consumers, which fit into three broad product classes. Their beer product class, their apparel and accessories product class, and their food product class. These products consist of mostly physical goods, however the company does also provide its consumers with some service products as well. This arises because the company serves as a distributor for its products, and so offers a blend of product and service to those consumers in the form of customer service. The Russian River brand was started by Corbell in 1997, located in Gurdonville, California. The company and brand was later sold off to head brewer Vinny Kilruzo and his wife Natalie. Since purchasing the Russian River Brewing Company, Vinny and Natalie have established their brand and have been very successful in doing so. One element that was critical to this was that during the sale of the company from Corbell, they were able to keep the previous name and therefore build upon that previous brand familiarity that had already been established. Once having established the brand name, the company created flagship products such as their Pliny the Elder Double IPA and Blind Pig to allow for consistency and increased demand for their product. As the brand continued to grow, the company was able to respond effectively by adding a new production facility, allowing for more products to be produced and also ensuring a higher level of consistency in the quality of the products being produced. Within their beer product class, the Russian River Brewery has upwards of 30 individual products. Pliny the Elder, as I mentioned before, is one of their flagship products and is almost always available at the brew pub. It is a double IPA and many in the microbrewery community give Pliny the distinction of being the first double IPA to be produced. The Russian River Brewery produces consumer products, which can fit into a variety of product classes, depending on the situation and the consumer. The company makes an active effort to make their product a heterogeneous specialty product, that is, a product that consumers actively seek out and make purchase decisions on qualities other than simply just price. As an industry, microbreweries are in the market growth stage. It is a very new industry, but has surpassed the market introduction stage as more consumers actively seek out these products. As more competition enters the market, the industry moves farther into the market growth stage, allowing for increased variety in products and producers. Promotion the Russian River Brewing Company is currently listed as having the best beer by BeerAdvocate.com, and this is Pliny the Younger. This is a play on their flagship beer, Pliny the Elder, which is a double IPA. The Younger is a limited release specialty by the company and is a triple IPA and only served on site at their pub for two weeks in February. This only helps to create a buzz about the product and draw in beer enthusiasts from all over the world. The population of Santa Rosa are very familiar with Russian River Brewery, and therefore the locals of the surrounding areas of Santa Rosa spread word of the pub to others. This is called publicity, which is an unpaid form of non-personal presentation of ideas, goods, or services. By word of mouth about Russian River, others are socially influenced, and this relates to the AIDA model, which is attention, interest, desire, and action. Russian River also promotes their products by pairing beers with specific food, which will essentially promote food sales and not only beer sales. On the weekends, this place is packed. It is said that if you are not there by 1 p.m., then good luck. During the week, they have happy hour from 4 to 6.30, and Sundays it's all day until midnight, so one could imagine the wait for beer. This is their idea of a sales promotion because it's an activity that stimulates interest, trial, or purchase by final customers because of its well price. Beers are only three twenty five during happy hour as opposed to the usual seven plus. Russian River also supports local bands by hosting free live shows every weekend, which ultimately brings in friends of band members and family, leading to increase of sales of beer. Now we will look at place, which focuses on reaching the target. We will start with objectives and market exposure. Russian River Brewing Company, which we will refer to as RRBC, does not implement an aggressive sales method. Instead, they focus on a more relaxed method that emphasizes on allowing distributors and final consumers to feel comfortable enough to come back any time, even if they do not make a purchase then and there. RRBC is so unaggressive with its sales philosophy and in increasing market exposure that they are not willing to change production to meet an ever-increasing demand, at the risk of compromising quality. They are currently not accepting any new accounts. As even their website states, quote, Demand is still greater than the supply, but they prefer to grow their business organically while focusing on efficiencies and quality. For now, it is easier to make better beer than it is to make more beer. 
end quote. Next, we will look at channel of distribution, kinds of intermediaries, and kinds of stores and locations. RRBC has a relatively straightforward channel of distribution. They sell to wholesalers, who sell to retailers, who sell to final consumers. But RRBC also sells directly to local retailers in the Bay Area and in the North Bay, and final consumers at their pub in Santa Rosa, creating a combination of direct and indirect channels. RRBC uses intermediaries mainly located on the West Coast. For the most part, they are other brewing and beverage companies who sell to markets and liquor stores. Finally, we will look at storing inventory and managing channels. RRBC's inventory is stored at their production facility in Santa Rosa. Channels are managed internally by employees, as most everything else is at RRBC. There are a plethora of different environments that affect the Russian River Brewing Company, but the one that affects this firm the most is the competitive environment. Competitive environment affects the number and types of competitors the marketing manager must face and how they may behave. The Russian River Brewing Company, as well as most product markets, head toward pure competition or oligopoly over the long run. Demand is actually significantly higher than supply for the Russian River Brewing Company, but they prefer to grow their business organically and focus on efficiencies and quality. Their philosophy is making better beer rather than a lot of beer. The firm is blatantly doing very well, but there are a myriad of different competitors, especially here in Northern California, one of which the very successful Lagunitas Brewing Company in Petaluma. The Russian River Brewing Company Brew Pub is located in downtown Santa Rosa amidst a deluge of other bars and breweries, and to the average inebriated downtown customer they might not seem that different from all the others, which is a big reason why this business is so difficult to succeed in. However, for the Russian River Brewing Company, their marketing mix is presumably superior, and their company is succeeding, so they have found a way to beat the competition for now. Up next is pricing of the Russian River Brewing Company. Price setting must consider the type of competition, which in this case is other bars and pubs in Santa Rosa, as well as microbreweries throughout California and the West Coast. The cost of the whole marketing mix must also be considered. Russian River produces exclusively prestige products and they are priced accordingly. The reason for this is that consumers are willing to pay a premium to enjoy a world-class beverage. The Russian River Brewing Company also employs the price lining technique. Their beers are priced around $5 and their premium sour aged specialty beers are around $10. The reason for the difference in price is that their assortment of sour beers are aged in wine barrels for over a year. This increases prices significantly over regular beers. The higher quality is more than worth the additional cost. Russian River may charge a premium, but that is the price you pay for perfection. Who do you love? I don't stay with Take it easy, baby, don't you give me no lip Who do you love? Who do you love?